Hey guys, how's it going? It's Scott here from Scott's Bass Lessons again. And this week I'm going to be talking about some of the little melodies that I used in the last tutorial, which was how I use pentatonics and how you can use pentatonics. And how people from lots of different styles of music use them because of their ambiguous tonality. There's not as many notes in a pentatonic as a major scale, there's only five. Um, and this means you can, you know, it's applicable to a lot of different stuff out there, so you can use it quite readily. So, the chord sequence in, in the last tutorial that we talked about, and you should check out if you haven't already, go back to that tutorial, but the chord sequence we were talking about is A minor for one bar, B flat major for one bar, and C major for two bars. So it was it sounded like this kind of thing. Uh, I want to do a four. talk about well I, basically I had a lot of emails saying oh, I kept on hearing this little kind of melody in there that you were playing with the fills I was playing what were you doing exactly there um, and then other people asking about some other licks and melodies I was playing so what I want to do is I want to show you one um, and I want to discuss how I dissect the actual licks to make other licks okay and this is something really important that you should try and do instead of just playing the same lick over and over again just learn how to use little bits from that or use a bit of it and link it to something else okay this is how improvisation happens so um, I'm going to show you the lick first of all it goes Context of the chords, I'll use it on the C major this time, and then I'm going to slow it down for you so you can get it into your play. Okay, a one, a two, a three, a four. I'm just going to use it on the C. from Pino Palladino, a record that I heard him playing with John Mayer, and, um, and he used it a few times, so I thought, I'll have that. <laughs> um, so that's it in its entirety, so I'm going to slow this down for you, and then we'll discuss how we can use it. So, it starts, and it's using this pattern, it comes from that shape, so that is C, D, then with the second and fourth finger, the first and fourth, E, G, the next string the same thing, which is A and C, and then on the top, G string, D, and E. shape I want you to start on the C on the little finger okay and play C D E and then back to C on the fourth finger I'm hammering that on. 
section. Now the next section is three more notes. So you got one, two, then C, A, G. Sorry about that low note. G. <laughs> so D, 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 D. That's the first bit. The next bit. That to start with. Oh, my phone's going. Oh. Hold it. Hold it. It's my present from my uh, my wife. Oh, it's telling me it's 11, 11. I don't know how I uh, had to use this yet. So I did think about putting it on silent, but it didn't happen because uh, yeah, I couldn't find the button. Anyway, back to it. So we've got. <laughs> two little parts and I recommend doing this if you're ever trying to learn a lick or a melody or something like that split it up into sections into bite-sized chunks then you've got so much more chance of learning it in the thorough way so we've got and then with a the little finger we skip back to the D string with the chords okay so we've got two bars of A minor one bar of A minor sorry one bar of B flat major one bar of C so it's a one two a three a four a major because it is major okay C major B flat major and these shapes and patterns are transposable so the B flat major exactly the same so we've got one bar of A minor one bar of B flat major one bar of C Transpose that lick 
to all the major chords within the sequence. Um, then we can start breaking it up. Okay, now breaking it up, I mean taking little sections of the melody. Um, and just using them. So for instance, the first part that I taught you was So let's try that just on the C. Construct new lines from that into your bass lines. You don't have to play the whole version all the time. You don't have to. You don't have to do that. You can just take little parts of it and then transpose it to the different um, the different chords. I'm going to do another tutorial on um, on another kind of uh, melody that I used in the last pentatonic uh, tutorial as well. So watch out for that. If you haven't been to my website, do so. There is tons and tons of lessons like this on everything from soloing to grooving to making your own bass lines. And the PDFs for these are available too. There's details on the website about that. Um, and tell everybody about this website, okay? Make sure you click like on it. Uh, you know, we're in the world of social media now, so all, all this information is for free. I'm just trying to spread it around the world and get the word out there. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the shed. Take it easy.